Hi and welcome to the Stamp Around UK video hop. It's the 1st of July 2020 and our focus this month is on designer series paper. That's what Stampin', Stampin' Up! calls their patterned papers and they usually come either 12 by 12 inches or 6 by 6 inches and they are great for scrapbooking, card making and lots of uh, paper crafting pro uh, projects. Now most of the papers are lovely and thick so that they are quite sturdy so if you're making like bags or um, you know making little gift bags that type of thing they are really sturdy and hold up. So I've used this as a bit of a stash busting exercise. I've got three different papers here that I'm using. I'm using Forever Greenery, the In Good Taste papers which have got a lovely selection of different textures and the Christmas Time is here a pack that is still available it became available at the end of last year and it's such a gorgeous collection of florals and Christmas kind of designs I'll just show you the back of those and what I've decided to do is actually to cut out some of the lovely leaves from Forever Greenery so I don't know if you realize this but some of the images on here and on here can actually be cut out using our dies. So I'll just give you a quick tip regarding that one. Now not all of them can, can be cut out so what I would do is try and select the the ones that are in it, sort of similar areas, pop um, the die over it and, and put a little bit of washi tape over it and then with this one there is a second one that then the leaves go in the other direction so there I've located it there and uh, I would cut that out and try as I, as I said try and keep it in a certain position so I'm trying not to use this side of the paper I'm trying to use up this section first now the other thing I found was with this one uh, you can find there's one image this one here faces in that direction and there's lots of other similar looking images and there is one that's actually the reverse of it and it's this one here so what I did was actually cut around it it was over here somewhere and held it up to the light and then actually put the die on the back and uh, managed to cut it out that way and um, oh no sorry hold on did I get that right no that one's going in the right direction there's one that's going in the other way uh, that one there there we go so that is the reverse so, as I said, just cut it out, pop it on the back, hold it up to the window and stick your washi tape on and you're able to uh, cut, cut it out the other side. It's worth spending a few minutes, maybe 20 or 30 minutes or so, cutting everything out. I fussy cut out the roses and I tried to get rid of the greenery that was around those because I found that the green that that was in that pattern was more of a grey green and it didn't really go with the greens that were in the Forever Greenery pack. I even also cut out some of the roses that are on the side because we can hide this flat section behind another one. So I've got a nice pile of little roses here and then as well as the stamps, sorry but not the stamps, the images that I cut out using the die, I also cut, fussy cut some out and I used the dies to cut out some from the patterned paper. Originally I thought I'd like this side and then once I saw it cut out I, I wasn't actually that keen on it but I preferred this side. And because some of these images have got little bits of white around the edge I actually thought it, it looked fine. And then the other thing that I cut out was, I cut these out by hand, were some of these, these images from some of the Forever Greenery papers. So once you've got a, a nice collection to play with, then decide on a contrasting background. And I love this one of the wood from the Inga Taste papers. And then I also chose a red and gold background to put behind it. Now I've been a little bit frugal. I've cut out the middle so that I've got that whole piece there to use on another project. So I'm going to be sticking that onto there with, with a bunch of roses in the middle and then some leaves around it. So for this next section I'm going to speed it up uh, so that um, you can see the process a bit quicker.
so there you have it a card made all from designer series paper not a stamp in sight so thank you so much for joining me today i hope you've enjoyed this and got some inspiration to use up some of your uh, leafy stroke floral designer series paper just by sitting and cutting it all out and then creating your own floral arrangement with it you can create this lovely kind of like slightly 3d effect by using lots of dimensionals and uh, yeah a really super fun and effective card possibly good for christmas as well just saying you know okay do remember to click in the description below to have a look at all the other people who've made videos today and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Lots of love. Bye.